Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm Chef Allie along with Karen Hansen. We're glad to have you here in the kitchen with us today. Tailgating is a beloved American tradition and if you happen to have a cast iron skillet somewhere at home, no matter what it looks like, right. get it out and Clean get it, it ready season for tailgating it season. Right. Season it up. Yes, because when you're talking about tailgating, cast iron cooking is the bomb. I mean, I love it. And um, your options are endless depending on what kind of a vessel you're using. And Karen, I know you guys um, go tailgating we do. quite tailgate. a bit because you're big K-State fans. That's right. Uh, are you a fan of cast iron? I love cast iron. Cast iron is one of the easiest vessels to cook in uh -huh. because I love how it evenly distributes the heat. Oh. And I know you're going to share a lot of those tips, but it's just a really easy thing to take. I love to plan things that can be done in one big pot and <laughs> Me too. less yeah. clean up, especially when you're out tailgating, because you don't want to have tons of dishes. And Exactly. You don't want to take all kinds of equipment right. there. Right. Da, 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 da. So what I was going to do first is kind of talk about the different vessels that are available for us to cook in on the grill. Um, one of my favorites is a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Um, and a lot of times what I find myself using this for mm -hmm. is actually taking my basics to kind of a whole new level. Mm -hmm. Because at a tailgate, typically what you're going to see is always going to be brats, mm -hmm. burgers, maybe steaks sometime. So what you can do here is load this up with caramelized onions oh, yeah. and Mushrooms. peppers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for those brats, take right. that to a whole new level. Right. Or maybe you're going to do a pan of sauteed mushrooms. Right. You can put those on your burgers, mm -hmm. your steaks. And those are all great as a dietitian. I have to add the point. Those are all great ways to add vegetables in to your tailgating right and terrific nutrition. and probably a little flavor too that's not going to add a whole lot of calories exactly because exactly. that brat is kind of fattening but it's you know but you can even a find a, there are low fat brats too so you yeah. can always make your choices that way but right. once in a while everything in moderation exactly if you want a brat at a tailgate just dress it up a little bit mm -hmm. so the second point that I was going to bring up about our um, cast iron would be a griddle yeah. okay or a grill whichever side you want to use right. um, and this is where of course um, your burgers and your brats are going to come into play mm -hmm. but also quesadillas don't rule those out right. at a tailgate right. or um, fajitas another great right. option to do on that sometimes I'm going to cut you off uh -huh. sometimes though if you're doing a morning tailgate that's what I was going to say I knew it some of these yeah. games are 11:30 games or 11:10 yeah. games so Awesome to do a big batch of scrambled eggs. Right. You can do hash, a burrito, breakfast burrito. A breakfast burrito, hash, eggs, flapjacks would be good. Right. Yeah, or you can just cook your bacon and your sausage in there. Uh -huh. Right. You know, uh, the only problem with that, it draws everybody <laughs> to your party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that wonderful aroma. Yeah. Absolutely. So, the neat thing too about cast iron that I like is um, you brought that up earlier. Mm -hmm. The weight you know is right. the one drawback but that weight because it's cast iron mm -hmm. is what gives us um, that great conduction right. because remember we talk about this all the time when we cook brown is not a color it's a flavor, flavor. yeah Absolutely. so this um, cooking surface is going to give wonderful mm -hmm. browning caramelization because it's cast iron and it has that wonderful conduction right. and right. it holds the heat so there's not going to be these heat pockets exactly either. and it's going to be very even cooking well so and your cooking is yeah versatile because you can heat your grill up at the same time that you heat your skillet up right. and then um throw when the protein on there well and, and when your grill's ready your pan right. is ready so exactly. that way you kind of exactly. know yeah right. um but our dishes that we made today for your tailgating party i'm super excited about and actually I know this is a recipe, the Chipotle Sloppy Joes, right. that you and I have, we've made these yeah. many times. This is a beef council recipe that we love. Yes. Super cool because you can use this to make Sloppy Joe sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, Karen mentioned, well, what about wraps? We could put that right. beef filling into, right into a wrap. Right into a wrap. Yeah. Cheese in there and roll it up. And sometimes what I do is I like to make this for tailgating and just put it on the grill and serve it with mm -hmm. chips because kids mm -hmm. will just use the tortilla chips to make it as right. a dip. Right. Yeah. And absolutely. you can see we've added beans, mm -hmm. black beans in Yay. here. There's corn. So there's a lot of healthy nutrition in that as well as look at the pretty color that yeah. that adds. It's got a lot of tomato in there. Um, just a smidge of chipotle and adobo sauce. So it's for smoking. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But you can see I'm going to pull in their plate. Awesome. Um, what a beautiful finished product that is. Well, and the crunchy coleslaw. Right. What I like about the recipe is the smokiness of the meat, the crunchiness of the coleslaw, and then your bun. You right. know, it's just, right. and you can also serve these as a bowl. 
which mm -hmm. is a neat thing at a tailgate. Right. If you just want to put your filling and then top it with your slaw, super versatile mm -hmm. recipe. Love, love, love this Delicious. one. Delicious. The second recipe that we brought um, today to feature for you would be our brat wraps. And you know, sauerkraut gets a bad rap. Lots of times people are like, eh, sauerkraut, I don't want to eat that. The deal with sauerkraut is we never want to have soggy sauerkraut. We always want to put our um, sauerkraut after we've drained it into a nice hot skillet because we want to brown it off and dry it out. So as you're stirring your sauerkraut, if you pull your spatula across the bottom of your pan and it makes a pathway and there's no juice in the bottom, that's when you know your sauerkraut is ready. We seasoned it with a little sugar, mm -hmm. red pepper flakes, and so wonderful. yeah, it smells super good. Mm -hmm. And I know you want to talk a little bit about the brats. Those mm -hmm. are the full flavor brats and when you're tailgating, that's a good point to make. Um, I like to buy the fully cooked stadium brats mm -hmm. so that when you put them on the grill, all you really got to do is right. It's a safe brown product. Them off. Yeah. As far as this food safety Quick. aspects, yeah, it's right. done. Yeah. And you can see Allie, you have browned these beautifully. She's put these on, on, grill on the grill and it's just got the nice grill marks. Mm -hmm. um, and Makes the other thing I like it. about the pre cooked is you don't have quite as much drip so that you're not going to have a lot of flare ups because um, nobody point. likes the flare ups on the grill. Right. So that that's a nice way to do that. And this is beautiful. Um, you like my presentation? I do, I do. And you can use a whole wheat wrap, you can use right. any kind of wrap, flat outs, you name it, um, and then build this up. And we all know that sauerkraut is cabbage and that's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. So that's a yeah. very healthy thing it too. Is. Yeah. Right. So to create these, what you do is you take your tortilla or your wrap, you put your um, honey mustard. We mm. use actually a little spicy mustard right. today because that's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Sauerkraut goes next and then I took one of the brats and I cut it lengthwise and laid that on there and then your Swiss cheese on top. Mm. I tell you what, this with a good icy cold um, light here <laughs> is yummy So for your tailgating. That's delicious. And last but not least, mm -hmm. um, so that you can use your Dutch oven when you right. go um, tailgating, mm -hmm. this is a spicy um, white chicken chili, mm -hmm. kind of like a gumbo. And that's another vessel that's great to take right. when we tailgate because you can do your chilies, your gumbos, your jambalaya, yeah. lots of super options. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's a, an enameled cast iron. It Which, is. That's why that's a beautiful Good color point. and mm -hmm. it, things don't stick. It's just a great vessel to use as well. Yeah. I was going to point out too okay. on this wonderful chili. You know, some of the tailgating mm -hmm. happens in November and December. Right. So um, starting out first thing in the in the season, it may seem like oh, I don't really want a, a hot soup or a stew. True. But it's coming, folks, and that is packed full of yummy stuff. So yeah, Little lots of tomatoes, and beans, and and you name it. So it's that's beautiful. Yeah, we eat with our eyes first. Uh -huh. so I think and you know something else, it. Allie? I think this could be done at home the night oh, before a yeah. tailgate mm -hmm. and brought out and just heat it. Set it on the grill. Tailgate. Yeah, right. And that's mm -hmm. the other neat thing about the versatility of cast iron. Mm -hmm. It goes from cooktop to oven to right. grill. Right. So uh, yes. I cannot say enough about the positives of oh, cast, iron cast iron cooking at home or tailgating either right. one. Right. So. Thanks for joining us here in Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. We are so glad that you could join us today. And remember to find us right. in Kansas Living, which is Kansas Farm Bureau's membership magazine. comes out quarterly. Right. And each quarter, I have an article in there on nutritional aspects right. and the tips about the recipes that we're doing together. Mm -hmm. So be sure and look for that article as well as the article with all the recipes. Ex all our yes. recipes, exactly. Right. So I'm Chef Allie with Karen Hansen. And remember, now, now you're, you're cooking. cooking.